Fix It Friday on the Blend, and today we are helping you fix your computer with the help of Geeks On Site. Today we ask the question, who is spying you on you and your computer at the local coffee shop? Good morning. George Adi is the president of Geeks On Site. Good morning. Good morning, Carly. How are you? So this is a common thing. People like to take their laptops to coffee shops and other places where they can hook up to the wireless networks, uh, but we need to be careful of that, don't we? Sure, sure. There's a lot of danger out there with, mm. with the hotspots. I mean, it's a great thing. Uh, to be able to get on one of these. But um, there's a lot of ways that somebody could get access to your personal banking information, yeah. uh, your passwords. There's a number of things out there. Um, so there's certain things that we do to protect our customers uh, from when they're on the hotspots. Yep, Geek Sunsight offers a lot of services available. What is the best way to protect your computer when you are using public wireless networks? There, there's some basic things you could do yourself. You could try to do yourself, or, or you could call us. But for example, um, there's a default option of file sharing on Windows. So y your files could be shared. Uh, somebody else in the hotspot could access them potentially. That, that's, mm -hmm. one, that's one common thing. Um, another thing is there's hotspots. Um, Let's say you go to uh, Starbucks and there's a Starbucks hotspot, but then there's another one. You connect to that other one, and that's just meant to, to hack into your computer. Uh, it's not a legitimate hotspot. So there's things like that that you need to be in the lookout for. What we do for our customers is we, we can enable certain things on the computer, like the first one I mentioned, uh, to protect it better from, from an attack at a hotspot. Well, and what I love about your company, because you think, oh, maybe I can do some of these things myself, but you guys are professionals, and the beauty of it is you don't have to take your computer anywhere. Sure. You can do all of this stuff via the Internet. You got it, yep. So how does this work? Because this may be a little confusing at first, but yeah, it's we, so easy. You know, we have a traditional service where we can go out to you, but we also have this online service where you call us, and in about two or three minutes, you can get connected where we can see your screen. You can, we can use your mouse and keyboard through a secure connection. Um, and once we're on, we can, we can hang up, get off the phone with you, and get to work on whatever we need to. All right, we're going to go ahead and show an example of this. I actually did it all the way through with Fiorella yesterday. She's one of the tech people that I believe is on the phone now. Good morning, Fiorella. Good morning. Okay, Fiorella, what I love about this, when I did this yesterday on my own, she is so, if you don't know anything about computers, it, you guys are so easy. You make it so easy. In fact, one of the first things that you do, you power down your computer, start it back up, and you have to hit the F8 key. Sure. She was telling me that, and she said, it's right in between F7 and F9. I said, thank you, Fiorella. I mean, that's how easy they yeah. make it for you. So we have already done that step. We've shut down our computer. It's back on in safe mode. Again, they explain all of that step by step on the phone with you. It is yeah. so easy. And so now we're at a computer screen where you go to the Geeks on Site page. And Fiorella, what do we do now? We have just the Internet Explorer regular page up. Where do we need to go? Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you our website address, okay? Which in is? The address bar, okay. I need to type in www, the number is dot eight 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 three six zero four three three five dot com, and please hit enter. Doing that now? Great. Remind me later. It'll bring you to the Geeks on Site page. Uh -huh. And the first remote option, it asks you for a six digit pin. Please enter 32 8691. And you're going to click on Connect to Technician. Connecting to the Technician. You got it. And It'll bring you to Applet Download. Uh huh, I see it. Please click on Download. Download. It's going to ask if you want to run or save the application. Please click on Run. And waiting for it. Should be here in just a second. Downloading. That's right. There it is. And now a box has just picked, uh, popped up about the, uh, the technician. Perfect. You're also going to get a chat box up there. Mm -hmm. And finally, you're going to get a box that's asking you to click on OK, which is allowing my technician to perform different functions on your computer. All right, Fiorella, thank you so much. And George, tell <laughs> us a bit. Welcome. She said all these different functions. What are the different functions that they can do? Well, you know, be, besides uh, securing your computer mm -hmm. for, for a hotspot, there's so many things we can help folks with at home or at their office. I mean, we do things like transfer data between computers, or sometimes you want to sync your iPod or your BlackBerry with your computer, and you're having trouble with it. You, want, you don't want to go through the trouble of doing it yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. We do all that stuff. Um, 
printers maybe you know stopped working we can do that remotely as well you know so easy yeah. you have a special offer you want to extend to everybody what is this sure um, well anybody sitting at home right now you, you can call us at no risk get a free diagnostic there may be something wrong with your system you don't even realize it um, and if you do use our service we'll give you free 30 days of unlimited support where you, you know after we initially repair it for any problems uh, you could get help with installing software. I was going to ask that because if it's fixed, why am I going to need you for 30 days? Sure. But there's a lot of things that a you can do. Things. Email problems. Uh, your printer might need to get uh, re you know set up again, or uh, transferring information like I mentioned. Uh, protecting your kids online. There's so many things out there that we could do. All right. Well, George, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right. For more information on Geeks on Site, just head to our website, fox4morningblend.com. And when we come back, mending broken hearts.